hi welcome to this excel video tutorial in this video i'm going to show you how to use the meet and search text functions inside some ifs function plus data validation so let's get started now this data set is already formatted as an excel table and we have created named ranges in order not to alternate between the two sheet tabs please remember also to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon to get notification of new videos let's head over to the report sheet now in the report sheet we are going to use the sort and unique dynamic array functions to extract all the unique brand and then we're going to run our sum ifs and also factor our drop down that is the list data validation let's proceed now in cell a2 i'm just going to deploy equal sign sort press my tab key and unique press my tab key now i need to recall the brand named range by just typing brand and press my tab key and i close the two parentheses control enter so we have all the brand from bike to Volkswagen. Now let's perform the sum ifs equal sign sum ifs press my tab key. Now the sum range must be the range that contains the numeric value or the number you want to sum. Now that's going to be the sales amount named range press my comma. And then the criteria range one is the brand named range. So just type in brand press my tab key comma. Criteria one is the unique extracted brand which start from cell A2 down to A13. Now this are what is called spill range. So I can actually select all of them and we have what's called the pound sign. Now that pound sign or the ash sign will go through all the other brands in all the neighboring cells below. So when I do close branches and control enter boom so we have all the results spilled down and that's cool and we have this nice looking column chart although this is not the end result of what we want to achieve so let's come to our formula and press f2 to modify and i delete the close parentheses comma now the criteria range three will be the year so i'm just going to type in the year named range and comma the criteria two will be the value in the cell b15 and i need to press f4 to make it absolute so that when i copy the formula down it doesn't move relatively so f4 key once close parenthesis control enter cool so we have this result being narrowed down now the core of the matter is how to factor the mid and the search text functions now i'm going to run yet another crate i'm um, named criteria range three and criteria three so for the criteria three i'm going to use the payment method named range and for the criteria three i'm going to use the mastercard which i'm going to extract from this value in cell b1 now let me quickly show you how to extract that and make sense of that so equal sign in an empty cell just type in the mid function now the mid function will require the text so i click on this b1 comma now the starting number now the starting number will be this is sales sales is five words plus this semicolon making six now m is the starting number which is number seven so i just type in seven comma now the number of characters i'm going to just throw in the search function there i can even use this find now the search function requires what i want to find now i want to find the position of this very space between mastercard and payment so i'm just going to put that inside double quotation because it's an expression and i put in a comma now within which text within this same cell b1 and i close and when i do control enter boom i have this it doesn't make sense f2 now what i need to do is to just take the first six characters to the left and add that to this space which is another character making seven so i'm just going to come right here okay i'm, I'm going to put in minus seven meaning six plus one and the value here will be exactly what i want to be returned 
So minus seven control enter absolutely cool. So I've been able to extract the Mastercard. Now let's do the same thing here. F2 to open up the formula. Delete the backspace comma. Now the criteria range three will be the payment method comma and the criteria three is we're going to do exactly something like this so just type in the mid the mid function press my tab key again the text is going to be this value itself b1 and i need to make it absolute by pressing f4 key once comma now again the starting number is number seven that's where the m start from so just type in seven comma the num chart that is the number of characters i'm going to use the search function press my tab key and i want to set for the space the space between mastercard and payment comma and within the same text and so b1 f4 key to make it absolute and close that up now when i put in just before i do that let me just evaluate this so that i can see what is going on i'm going to press f9 boom now i know that the space is located in the 17th position that's cool i'm just going to put minus seven carefully okay let me just continue in the formula bar minus seven and i close my uh, mid and i close the sum effects function and i do control enter absolutely cool now we have two million eight seventy nine thousand plus for bike now let's quickly check from the main sys data whether it's accurate or not now let's filter our data quickly come here ctrl shift l to apply the filter buttons and again want to filter let's say the year i think this will be year 2015 okay 2014 mastercard now let me come here okay alt down arrow key and i'm going to uncheck all of them i want mastercard and i click on that and i want year 2015 on select all or 14 i guess okay and then we need the brand which is equals to bike or check all and I select the bike okay so when i select all this now it gave us okay control shift down arrow key it gave us two million eight seventy nine thousand six zero three and that is exactly what we achieved here two million eight seventy nine six zero three absolutely cool now when i change to let's say 2016 and i change this one to from mastercard to so let's say screw payment method screw now everything will update absolutely cool and we have this nice looking dynamic chart so this is essentially how we can factor in the need and the search text functions inside some is function i hope you do enjoy this video if you do please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon because there is a lot to come thank you and bye for now cheers